Hello and welcome to Gamer Social, my name is I'm here and let's fly the PMDG737800 aircraft. We're currently at London Stansted and we are doing our flight deck preparation for our flight to Palma de Mallorca. So we need to start off by going up to here. So we are now on the uh, flight deck preparation flow and the LE devices we need to check. So some of this stuff I'm not quite in entirely sure what it is. Oh here we go. So yeah, those seem fine. That's our, our, our slats. So that is fun. Tested that. So I can put yes to that one there and... Maybe that's the next one. The DSPL select test to the left. All seems fine. And then it's to go to HDG heading slash STS, whatever STS means. That's fine. So that is done. Um, yes. And we now need to turn the IRS left and right to nav, which is what I usually do on all my flights anyway. So that is now done. So, service microphone needs to be off, which it is, that is fine. The engine reverser needs to be off, not illuminated, so that is fine as well. The e EEC needs to be on and covered. So EEC, is that up here, or is that down here? Ooh, I'm not quite sure where the EEC is. Flight, it must be up here. We're still doing all this, so EEC. EEC. Come on, guys, point it out to me. Where is it? Where is the EEC? Oh, here it is. It needs to be on and covered, which it is. Good. Flight recorder, open uh, cover and test. Flight recorder. Test. Seems fine to me. That's all good. Mac SP warning test. Um. They're fine. They work. Stool warning test. Doesn't actually do anything, but we're not going to hold things up against that. So free landing gear lights, that is fine. It's not a problem. Dome white needs to be off or on. It's off because we don't need a dome light on. Uh, the PSEU needs to be off, not illuminated. PSEU. Um, is that this one here, passenger oxygen? Could be. Not entirely sure. Oh no, here it is. Then there, look, it is off. So that is fine. That's that first flow done. So now we get to the main panel and um, do a crew oxygen test. So we can lower this. I reckon I'm going to need that up, to be honest. Um, there we go. That seems fine to me. Yeah, oxygen is fine. So we can check that off the list as well. Uh, so FMC then, here we are. Let's get to the FMC. Let's zoom in this time as well. So let's go to the main menu and go to the FMC. And we can do the position initialization. Haha. <laughs> And we can select where we are, which is here. And we can drop it into our IRS position there. And we now have dual FMC as well. And that will make everything go all good. And we can get reference airport is EGSS. I can't remember exactly what gate we are, so we'll leave that bit. That's not really important. So the origin is going to be EGSS. Um, and our destination is going to be LEPA. And that will do for now for there. That is all nicely done. So, lighting uh, on the main panel, on if required. We don't need it because it is, it is daytime. So, lights, test, we did do that anyway, didn't we? Um, check panels, which we already did, that's fine. It's not a problem. Master caution, reset. Yep, reset that. And master warning, reset if needed, then you do that because it's not illuminated, so that is fine. So, let's make sure our yaw damper is on, apparently. So, get the yaw damper on. There we go. Uh, navigation, VHF nav, IRS, FMC, uh, navigation, all need to be where they need to be, all normal, which is good, that's fine. They are all normal, so it's not a concern. So, displays, displays, they are where they need to be, they're on auto and normal, respectively, that is perfectly fine for what we need. Fuel pumps need to be all off. They are at the moment. 
uh, DC voltmeter put it to test. A DC one, isn't it? Yeah. There is no DC volts. That's been tested. AC needs to get to test as well. That's fine. Maintenance test ensure no faults. Um, what? <laughs> Maintenance. Oh, here we go. Make sure there are not are no faults. I think it's uh, making sure that all the lights work on the screen so that we can see it properly. No faults. How about that? Magic. And DC voltmeter can go to the bat position. There we go. And AC can go to ground power. There we are. Magic. We're flying through these checklists today. That's good news. And the galley needs to be on. Which one is galley? Galley, 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 galley. Where is galley? Yeah, I don't know where that is. That ain't galley, is it? Nope, that's not usable. So where is the galley thing? Um, ba -da -da. Not sure where that is. I'll skip that bit then rather than staying around it. Uh, if the passenger needs to be on. Which it is. Maybe that one's the galley then. Cabin utility, maybe. Um, which is if it's fine. So equipment cooling supply needs to be normal. Is this one equipment? No, here we go. Normal, yeah, and normal on that one as well. Fasten seat belts on or off. Burden to auto. So window heat left and right needs to be on. Apparently. And the overheat needs to be on. Make sure there's no problems, and then they can get back off again, just to make sure it's all working. So it's just testing to make sure everything is okay. So, and then left and right back on again. Cool. Probe heat needs to go on. Probe heat needs to go off. It's testing, making sure it all works apparently. And TI swing needs to go on. Engine needs to go on. Everything's okay there, and then they need to go off. Don't expect we'll be needing to use that at all today. So and uh, yeah, that's cool. Check doors. Correct lights are on. So yeah, we have the uh, what's we do door off. What we will do though, whilst we are here with the doors, we will go to our FS actions and go to our doors, and then make sure we have the cargo doors open for luggage to be what's my do that. And what I will do is. Um, request catering services. We can do that. Why not? Uh, in terms of our payload, we will set it to full today. Why not? Um, I think. Let's lower some things. Let's lower that. Uh, oh, no. Let's put in seven. No, get rid of the one. Seven thousand Ford cargo. And seven thousand aft, five thousand forward, and hundred and forty people, and nine in the front. Let's say eight first class, shall we? I don't really have first because I'm not quite sure where that's all come from, to be honest. We are Thompson, but never mind. Someone I think has messed up the seating configuration of this plane. Let's say a hundred and thirty seven people in the cabin. There you go, now we're within our, our limits, which is good. Just to make sure that's all set, you know. That is important after all. So air temperature, moving on to the next thing. Air temperature we need to check and adjust accordingly. Um air temperature? Here. It's fine, it's all on automatic, it's not a problem at all. Packs, overheat test, hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. That passed. That's cool. Mass caution, reset. Oop. Nicely done. So, overhead panel, pressurization. Here we 
go, we need to set the pressurization to uh, the cruise altitude, which I believe is going to be 35,000 feet today. So let's get that set now. Landing altitude, set to landing altitude. I'm not quite sure what that is yet, but that can come later. That's fine. So um, here we go. So set this to uh, left for act balance. Fine, that is done. Not a problem. Airport ATIS is fine. I have that on my phone already. It's not a problem at all. In now says we're taking off runway four. So we're going to be going around the other way. That's a bit crap, but never mind. So here we go. Time to enter our route into the FMC. Let's go into here and do this, shall we? Um, so in terms of route, here we go. We can do this now. So it's going to be CPT. Uh, in here. Uh, sorry, no wrong way around. I need to go into here. Into two. There we go. And then UN eight five nine. UN eight five nine. And we go to BCN. Oops, wrong way. BCN in there. And UW7 as the. Damn it, it's an invalid waypoint, really. It's not VW, is it? Is it VW7? Come on. VW7, maybe it is. Hmm. Okay, fine. Dolores. Looks like it would be going direct to Dolores then, apparently. Let's try that one there, see what it does. Let's activate that. So, still a departure arrival, so we're going to be departing runway 4, unfortunately. Let's just get my chart up as well on screen so I can see exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, and it is CPT 4 right. Um, that one there then. Let's have a look at this and see what this says we're going to be doing. So onto the plan, bring down the, the what's my doodah. Let's go and have a look at my legs. So can we take it off? Perfectly fine. Flipping around. And we will suddenly just go direct to Lores. I think that's going to be fine. That seems to be right. Yeah, that is fine. So zoom back into um, to here. Departure arrival. At the moment, the arrival is going to be 24 ILS Y 24 right using POS. And it was going to be Laurel 1P, I think. So let's route that and see what that does. See if that is going to be okay for us. Uh, let's just zoom in as well so at least we can see what the hell we're actually doing. So stepping round, here we go. Ba -da 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 -da. So Lores, Pospa, Pos, the Hooge. We're flying straight in. That is a nice and simple flight, actually. That's going to be really, really good. I think that'd be really, really good. So um, let's get our takeoff speed as well. Then zoom back in here. In it, a reference to the Doos. Uh, that can go in there. Uh, reserves can be, uh, we would say it was a 4, wouldn't we? Yeah, so 4 can be our reserves. Our cost index is 25 today. Cruising altitude is 350. Uh, transition altitude is going to be 6000. Like so, we can execute that. N1 limit, takeoff, flaps, going to be a flaps 5 takeoff. And make a note of this, so 5.82. Uh, trim and we got a takeoff speed of 159. Set that into here. We are going to be quite heavy after all. There we go. That's going to be fine then. I think that's going to be perfectly fine. So, time to set our altimeter, which is going to be 1013. Uh, let's get that set to where it needs to be 1013, which it already is actually, so that's good. Um, Let's have a quick look. So, flight director needs to go on for our side and now for the other side as well. Along with auto throttle, that works perfectly fine. Altitude, I'll set to 35,000 feet. We are going to be climbing quite fast. We're going to get up to our, our, our cruising altitude quite speedy. We're not going to be waiting around for that. Uh, Annunciated lights test, which is this one here, I think. Yeah. That works fine. Display test, clock, check time. 
almost seven o'clock. No, it was actually um, eight o'clock. Yes. So center panel. Um, auto rate needs to be going to RTO. That's done. So throttle. Uh, everything is fine on there. You can see cut off. Our throttles are. Uh, set down, so a little test there. Our flaps are up uh, along with our speed brake, it's fine as well. Um, it's pedestal, then we got a squib mode to test apparently. Um, is it this? No, is it this? Yes. That's cool. Cargo. Oh, where's the cargo one? There, I think. That's fine. That's cool. That's re okay. And there's another reset. Um, that's fine. The T cast we can now set to standby, and we can test it. I think as well. Yeah, T cast test. Uh, one thing I am wondering: do we have a thing? We do have a thing. That's cool. Just making sure. T cast is now doing it. Like that's good. That's fine. TS test is okay. It's a flight deck door that needs to be set apparently. Uh, no access there. It's fine. It's auto. That's good. And we're okay. So before start checklist, let's check it. Everything, shall we? So oxygen mass and quantity were checked. That's fine. EEC is on. Navigation transfer switches are normal. Um, oh crap, didn't, didn't mean to do that. <sighs> whoops, that's redoing all that rubbish now. Ah, whoopsie. Um, position. Just gotta reset our position. There we go. Our route is gonna be fine. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that. Um, display switch is auto and normal, yes. Fuel, center pumps, we haven't done our fuel yet. Need to make sure we have the right fuel on board. And we need to have 10,000 kilograms. That's going to affect everything we have done in here already, isn't it? Really, it thinks we have insufficient fuel. Really? Oh, it's saying pounds. Right. Okay. Um, now let's have a quick look. I need to change that. I need to remember how to do it. Um, fuel, 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 kilograms. Done it. No, nah, wrong one. Into here, into fuel, needs to be 10,000 kilograms. Thank you. Now we may need to redo all this crap. Do you reckon? Yeah, it's fine, I think, by the looks of it. I think it's 4.62 now, though, for our trim. That's fine. And now we should arrive there with plenty of fuel left, which we do. That's good, so that's fine. Passenger signs are on, I think. Yeah, we do have that on anyway. Um, hydraulic pumps as off. Uh, those on, yep, yeah, that's fine. Uh, pressurization is set, that's good. Uh, flight instruments cross checked. Auto brake is RTO, yes. Take off warning horn is checked. Parking brake is set. And aileron rudder trim is centered. So there we go, that is that done, I think. So what we need to do now is request the boarding. Bring everybody on board. We're almost there, almost ready for our pushback, almost ready to go. Jesus Christ. But there we go, that is all we have time for this one. In the next episode, we will perform our pushback and takeoff. As you're watching, guys, I'll see you then.